Hello, and welcome to part two of my charmed A-S-M-R. In part one, we read some spells from season one, and it was very, very relaxing. There were several times that I actually almost went to sleep myself, so... I think that it did the job. I think it did what it needed to do. So today, we're here to read some spells from season two. And I hope that you enjoy them just as much as you did part one. But before we get started, I want to say a couple of things. This is actually the very last video that I'm recording in 2023. And this will probably be one of the first videos that I release in 2024. I'm very excited because I'm excited to keep this series going. But there's also another announcement that I have to make. As of today, we have a patron on our Patreon. And I would like to give her a shout out for being our very first patron. Her name is Catherine. And she helps out the channel a lot. She's a moderator in the Discord. She's a moderator on the TikTok Lives. She's helped direct many a person to the Discord. And she provides a lot of moral support. So I wanted to give her a special shout out because... She didn't have to become a patron, but she chose to on top of everything else that she does. And I'm not sure if by the time this comes out, we'll have more patrons. But if we do, I will be including all of their names in the video. Yeah, we're to that point. And I want to thank everyone who watches for supporting me as we grow and as we reach a new level and we reach new heights 2024 is going to be amazing it's going to be amazing so now that we've got the housekeeping stuff out of the way let's go ahead and get into the A.S. M R. The very first spell that I want to include is one of my personal favorites, and I just think that it flows so beautifully. It's the spell that they used to go into the future, to the year 2009. It's wild to think that the future was 2009, and now that was 15 years ago. That's actually the year that I graduated high school. And I know that makes me kind of old, but not really old, but makes me feel old that it was 15 years ago. Enough of that. Let's get into the spell. Hear these words, hear the rhyme. We send to you this burning sign. Then our future selves will find in another place and time. That spell does it for me every single time. It's so beautiful and it sounds very powerful. It sounds almost as if someone wrote it with poetry in mind. Hear these words, hear the rhyme. We send to you this burning sign. Then our future selves will find in another place and time. It was so beautiful I had to say it twice. It's actually time to move on to the next spell. I'm not going to lie. 
this one I have to look at because I don't remember all the words and I just want to be up front because I will be reading so as flame lights shadow and truth ends fear open locked thoughts to my mind's willing ear may the smoke from this candle into everywhere creep bringing innermost voices to my mind in speech whoever wrote that spell was 100% in their bag because I forgot how beautiful it is it truly sounds majestic it sounds like something you would read in Shakespeare That, that may be a bit too far, but, <laughs> but nonetheless, it's still a beautiful spell. And now on to the next one that I think is also beautiful. Remove the chains of time and space and make my spirit soar. Let these mortal arms embrace the life that haunts before <sighs> gives me shivers. That's one of my favorite episodes, Pardon My Past. And that spell is just exquisite. It's mm, oh, exquisite. On to the next spell. It's actually from the same episode. When Phoebe is switching her soul for her evil past life's soul. In this time and in this place, take the spirit I displace. Bring it forth while I go back to inhabit a soul so black. You can't tell me that Phoebe Minaj was not in her bag when she wrote that spell. Because if there was one thing that Phoebe was going to do, it's write a spell and do magic. 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 Our next spell is one that's iconic. It's one that I feel like we all know by heart and is second only to the power of three spell. You might know it and if you do, say it along with me and maybe we can do some magic. Maybe we can make some magic. of the witches rise course unseen across the skies come to us who call you near come to us and settle here in case you don't know season 2 is actually the first time that we hear that spell it was in the Book of Shadows, but this is the first time that we hear it. And it became a staple throughout the seasons. In season four, they actually added another line to the end. Well, a couple of lines. Blood to blood, I summon thee. Blood to blood, return to me. I think that those last lines make it even more impactful because they're looking for each other and they have a bond that goes deeper than magic. Their bond is in blood. I feel like that was creepy, but you get what I'm saying. Their bond was deeper than magic. It's deeper than 
and magic. The last spell on the list is one that I wasn't sure if I wanted to add in, but I think I'm going to because I just like the way it sounds. I don't think that it's the best one on this list. I think it's probably closer to the lower tier, but still worth mentioning. What witch has done and then undone, return his spirit back within and separate him from his skin. It's not exactly the best in the world, but Phoebe Minaj could have probably come up with something better, but it's okay. I'm still here for it. I think it still came out well. That's the end of the video, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. I may ask my patrons what spells they'd like for me to read in season three. I think that's what I'll do. So, I hope that you all have a great afternoon, evening, or morning whenever you're watching. Thank you, and blessed be.